Hey everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to look at linked hash map. Now, linked hash map extends from hash map class. And similar to our hash map, a linked hash map allows duplicate values, but it does not allow duplicate keys. The underlying data structure over here is hash table and linked list. Okay. Now, the main difference between a hash map and a linked hash map is that a hash map does not maintain the insertion order, whereas a linked hash map maintains the insertion order. So this difference is again same as the difference between a hash set and a linked hash set, right? Now what I'll do is I'll create a hash map first, let's say student map one, and I'll add some key value pairs to it. Now similarly, I'll create a linked hash map, let's say student map two, and again, I'll add some key value pairs to it. So I'm adding the same key value pairs in both the cases. Okay. And now I'm going to display the content of both of these maps, right? So this is for student map one, which is a hash map. And again, I'm going to use the for each loop for this. Okay. For displaying the content. And similarly, I'll do it for student map two, which is a linked hash map. Okay. So we have a hash map, we have a linked hash map, and we are displaying the content of both of them, right? Now let's run this program. Now just observe the insertion order over here. So it is four, two, one, and three in both the cases, okay? Now in case of a hash map, we are getting some different order over here, okay? So it is one, two, three, four, which means that the insertion order is not maintained. But in case of linked hash map, the insertion order is maintained, right? So that is the main difference between a hash map and a linked hash map. And rest everything is exactly same as hash map. So all of the methods which we use with our hash map, we can use the same methods with linked hash map and it will work in the similar way, right? So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial.